Hi everyone, I'm Zoe B and welcome to the DIY series of the Lelux Bride Wedding Vlog. So this is the first of many tutorials that I'm going to do to help you with tips, tricks and DIY hacks to make some key items for your wedding day. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make an item that has been super popular in the last few years in the wedding world, and that is acrylic wedding decor. So this technique you can use for your welcome wedding sign, your menus, I did even table numbers at my wedding, and it's so simple and easy to do. You don't need to be good at crafts, handwriting, or drawing, and I'm gonna teach you an easy hack to get it done. Now the first thing you want to do is order yourself an acrylic frame. You might have something lying around the house, but if not, I ordered mine from perspexsheet.uk. And this was a great site because I could order any size I wanted, custom made in any quantity. Now the pieces are priced on size and thickness. So the more you play around with these, you will see it reflect in the price. I actually went for 3mm thickness and this worked great, it produced a sturdy, durable piece and for the length I went for 76cm by 55 and this produced a medium sized frame. Now I'm also going to give you an alternative which is a frame from IKEA. The frames that come from IKEA are usually acrylic so they work really well they are much thinner so a little bit more flimsy but if you're traveling it's perfect as it's much more lightweight than the thicker perspex frames so let's look at the pens that you'll be using for this project i'm using the sharpie fine point oil based paint pen in white uh, this one has a small nib and it's great for doing the outlines of your large letters and then the details on your small letters and then next is the Broadline Deco Color Opaque Paint Pen Marker. And this one has a very thick nib, great for doing the infill and it has a great flow. So give them a shake and make sure you test a few times on a scrap bit of paper, dotting and running the pen along to make sure the paint flow is running. Next up, prepare your acrylic by taking it out of the frame and if you've got the IKEA one then you'll have to take off the film that was on either side as well. You want to make sure it's clean so spray it with a window cleaner um, or rubbing alcohol just to take off any dust or residue that there might be. Wipe it down with a lint-free wipe or cloth and leave it to dry. Next you want to go online to www.canva.com so this is one of my favorite online tools for designing. You want to create a new design and put in custom dimensions. Change it to centimeters and put in the size of the frame that you have. So the one I went for was 91 centimeters by 61 and I want it to be horizontal. Now I'm going to add the text. So I'll click here and add a heading. And the first thing I want to write is welcome. I'm going to choose a text um, that's quite ornate and decorative. It's Adora Bouton. And I actually bought this previously from creativemarket.com. If you like this one, I'll put the link in the description below. But if you don't want to spend the extra money, Canva's basic package has some amazing calligraphy fonts that you can use too. For the second and third lines of text, I recommend to use a simpler font. Play around with sizes and spacing and see what works for you. I also played around with elements and added a line here and then I exported it and saved it to my desktop. Now we're going to go over to another very useful site, this is rasterbeta.net. This program splits your image into tiles so they can be printed out real size. Drag and drop your file here. 
then you just want to de-click add margin as the program will give you about a half a centimeter margin and this is fine to work with. Click no effects. And then download your image. And that should appear in your downloads as a PDF. And then don't change anything and just print. And there you have your printouts. Now, if you chose the 91 by 61 centimeter like mine, you'll end up with eight pieces of paper. Now, on each piece of paper, you will see tiny lines that are your margin lines. So you want to fold back the paper according to the line. And you want to do that to all eight pieces of paper. This way the letters will match up exactly. Match them up and tape them together with sellotape. Bring back your acrylic, turn your giant poster upside down and make sure it's in the center of your acrylic, measuring both sides and top to bottom. Once you know it's in the right place, fix it down with a non-residue leaving tape like masking tape. Turn it over, give your pen a shake and start outlining letters. Now I'm right-handed, so I'm working here from left to right and top to bottom to make sure that I'm not rubbing in any wet paint as I go. Once you've done the outline, you can start working on the infill. The first layer is going to look very grey and very patchy. But don't worry, this is just going to act as a base coat as we'll probably do two or three coats on top of this to get the full coverage. For my small letters, I've gone back to the Sharpie fine point pen. And take your time here, the small letters are definitely harder than the larger ones. But make sure you allow time for each layer to dry and you should be fine. And when you've done three layers and allowed it to completely dry, take off the backing and you will see your beautiful calligraphy design. You can tidy any bits up, any mishaps with a little bit of acetone or paint remover and I just use a cotton bud just to go around and tidy up any edges. Now you could leave your project like this, I think it looks really cool, but if you want to bring in some colour and match it to your theme, then you can paint some acrylic paint with a large paintbrush on the back side of the sign, giving it about three layers and there is your finished piece.